Let's take a look at how easy it is to save and share files when using Desmos. We'll start graphing and we'll go ahead and sign in. Sign in with Google. My name appears. I have an untitled graph. Um, we'll just make a relatively simple graph at this time. We'll make a system of equations here. All right, so we have a system of equations. We've done some manipulation. We may want to show a point of intersection. And now we want to save this graph. So we'll just click on Untitled Graph. We'll give it a name. And we'll save it. And now we want to share it. We want to show somebody our work. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this share graph button up here and we'll be given a link. We'll go ahead and copy that link and once we've copied that link all we have to do is in put it into an email, send it to whoever you want to have look at the graph and it should come right up for them. Um, let me pause this and give that a try. So I went ahead and sent myself that link and I will click on it and you'll see the graph comes right up for the person you've sent it to. So there's one way to share it. Another way to share it would be to embed it or send it as an image. You can export it as an image. This allows you to download and save an image file and then attach the image file to an email. Or you can actually print it out or embed it in a document if you want to embed it. It gives you an embed code for those of you who are a little more advanced. Or you could print it out and scan it um, and save it as a PDF file and then forward it. I think the easiest of all the methods of sharing is copying the link and putting it in an email. Or exporting the image, saving it and attaching it to an email. If you have any more questions, get in touch. Thanks.